हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज प्रिपेयर फॉर द सब्जेक्ट पार्टिकुलर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द एक्सरसाइज फॉर यूनिट फर्स्ट दैट इज साइज रिडक्शन सो द लेक्चर आउटलाइन इज दैट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सरसाइज ऑन पावर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ प्रेशर एंड देन एक्सरसाइज ऑन critical speed of the ball mill so before going to the exercise you should be must be familiar with the different laws of the size reduction so the first problem is based on rittinger's law so here the exercise one is given a certain crusher except fed material having volume surface main diameter 90 mm 19 mm and gives a product volume surface mean diameter 5 mm if the capacity of the crusher is 12 tons per hour calculate the power requirement by using rittinger's law and in the data it is given that rittinger's constant is equal to 3.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so to solve this problem you must know the rittinger's law so this is actually rittinger's law which is nothing but it is a equation so this equation gives that p by m dot is equal to kr into square of bracket 1 upon d bar sb minus 1 upon d bar sc square bracket complete where the p is the power calculation or power consumption in kilowatt m dot is the feed rate in tons per hour kr is the rittinger's constant d bar sb is the surface volume mean diameter of the product and d bar sa is the surface volume mean diameter of the feed respectively so here you should know that feed means the solid which is feed to the crusher before crushing so that is known as the feed and after crushing we get small solid material so that is known as the product so the feed size is generally larger that means d bar sc is equal to 19 mm so this is converted into meter by dividing 1000 which is equal to 0.019 meter and product is also equal to 5 mm which is also converted into meter by dividing 1000 which is equal to 0.005 meter and kr that means rittinger's constant is given which is equal to 3.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so put all these value in this equation and calculate p so here in this equation we have to put all the values and then you have to calculate the p so here p is nothing but it is the power consumption and the unit is kilowatt so after solving this equation we get p is equal to 6 kilowatt that means the power required for this crusher is 6 kilowatt so in this way we have calculated the power requirement for the crusher by using rittinger's law then next exercise is based on bond's law so this exercise state that what will be the power required to crush 150 tons per hour of limestone if the 80% of the feed passes 50 mm screen and 80% or 80% product passes through 3.125 mm screen so here this this screen is nothing but the to find the diameter of the solid material these screens are used and we will discuss the screening in second unit detail 
and the work index which is required for this form uh, bonds law is equal to 12.74 and it has no units so generally the work index is defined as amount of gross energy in kilowatt hour per ton of a feed material required to reduce the very large feed to such size that 80% of the product passing through the 100 micron screen so that means it is having some value every product or every substance is having its own work index so here we are using the limestone so the work index of the limestone is 12.74 so this value we have to use in the formula so this is actually bond's law so this equation represents bond's law so p by m dot is equal to 0.3162 wi into square bracket bracket 1 upon under square root dpb minus 1 upon under square root dpa square bracket complete so in this equation p is power which is given in kilowatt and dp is nothing but the diameter so here the dpa means feed diameter or feed size and dpb means product size so these values are given in the formula 50 millimeter and 3.125 millimeter note that here you do not require to convert this value into meter because this formula is made for the product size which is given in millimeter so for this formula you do uh, you do not convert millimeter into meter then you have to put this value p we have to calculate m dot means feed rate which is equal to 150 this is the constant in that formula 0.3162 and wi is nothing but the work index which is given in the formula is 12.74 so into square bracket we have to put the value of dpb which is equal to 3.125 millimeter and dpa which is equal to 50 millimeter so by solving this equation we get the p that means power required for this pressure by using bond's law is equal to 256.4 kilowatt so this is the final answer by this equation the next problem is based on or used for ball mill so in ball mill you have to calculate the critical speed of the ball mill so what is the critical speed that means the speed at which the centrifuging occur so what is meant by centrifuging if the mill is operated that means ball mill is operated at a very high speed the balls are carried right round to contact with the side of the mill and the mill is said to be centrifuging that means at this condition there is no grinding is taking place in the ball mill so this speed you must calculate by the formula so that is called as critical speed and the equation uh, sorry uh, the exercise is given as find out the critical speed of the ball mill by using following data diameter of the ball mill is given 450 millimeters and diameter of the ball which is equal to 25 millimeters so note that these two things are different ball means this is the grinding media used for ball mill and diameter of the ball mill is nothing but it is the diameter of that mill so it should be larger than the ball diameter of the ball and the formula for critical speed is given nc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under square root g upon r capital r minus small r so here 
in this formula nc is nothing but the critical speed of the ball mill g is nothing but acceleration due to gravity or gravitational constant r this capital r is nothing but note that this is the radius of the ball mill and small r is nothing but the radius of the ball which is used as a grinding media in ball mill so in the form uh, in the exercise the diameters of the ball mill and diameter of the ball is given so first we have to convert that into the meter by dividing 1000 so here we get diameter of the ball mill is equal to 0.45 meter and divided this value by 2 we get the radius that is capital r if we divide it by 2 to this value we get that we get 0.225 meter radius of the ball mill and from the diameter of the ball we can calculate the radius of the ball mill same way that means we have to convert this 25 millimeter divided by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.025 meter and again divided by 2 then we get radius because diameter divided by 2 we get the radius so same formula is used here and g is nothing but acceleration due to gravity so that means gravitational constant so we know that g is not, is equal to 9.81 meter per second square then put all this value in this equation so you have to calculate the nc then we know that value of pi 3.14 multiplied by 2 and under square root 9.81 divided by 0. 225 minus 0 0.0125 so by solving this we get the critical speed equal to 1.08 rps so here the rps nothing but revolution per second revolution per second but we required sometimes the value of critical speed in minute so you have to multiply by 60 to this value and then we get 64.8 rpm so here rpm is nothing but a revolution per minute so here we obtain the answer nc that is critical speed of that given ball mill is equal to 64.8 rpm which is nearly equal to the 65 rpm So these three problems are important for unit first that is for size reduction. Thanks.